Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm unboxing the Obsbot Tail Air. This AI-driven pan-tilt zoom streaming camera retails for roughly $500. US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. Now, when Obsbot originally reached out to me, they wanted me to cover one of their latest and greatest webcams. And Look, a lot of people will think this is a webcam, but I just wasn't having it. Uh, as many of you know, uh, subscribers especially, I'm recovering from major surgery, and I've got to be really selective about what uh, makes it to the studio. And I immediately told them I had no interest in the webcam, but the tail air does pique my interest. And look, there are a wide uh, list of reasons, and that's because I've always had an interest in these uh, pan tilt zoom cameras, but they've never had the quality, at least at an affordable price point, that made them practical, nor did they ever have this sort of feature set. And I say that because not only does this camera have Wi Fi and Bluetooth, not only does it have a micro SD card slot on board so that you can record directly to that card, not only does it have NDI support so that if you don't want to use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth um, as your connectivity means, you can hardwire this and it can become part of a pro-grade multicam setup that technically, because of NDI, someone could be operating from around the world in a pinch. Uh, so there are just so many options. It has a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery, uh, which means at least, from what I've read, two hours of runtime. Uh, they've also included their $100 uh, power over ethernet adapter. Again, remember NDI. So this may sound like an expensive setup, but what I can assure you of is that this is the most affordable uh, piece of technology in this category that has ever been released to my knowledge. Uh, because we can capture at 4K30, this thing has stabilization, uh, comes with a travel case. There is an optional remote control, which I'm probably going to purchase, even though Obsbot didn't send it, and shame on them, they should have, because I really think that is a great accessory, because even though, and I'm not really saying shame on them, to be clear, that was a joke, uh, but uh, for anyone that's um, ESL, but what it comes down to is that this camera is so versatile, and that's why it's on the channel today. Again, with the premise that it's going to live up to the capability that marketing details. So 4K30, um, you can output that uh, over, I'm gonna show you all the ports now, uh, the HDMI, this is the Type-C port right here. So you could use the Type-C port to connect this to your computer, power button right there. Uh, we also have a, a three and a half mil jack for connecting your own uh, microphone if you don't wanna use uh, the onboard mic, uh, because to my knowledge, there are a few, I believe. I think this is one of them right here. Uh, micro SD card slot, I mentioned earlier. Uh, micro HDMI out. So if you want to, you know, again, output video hardwired, you can do that instead of doing wireless transmission. Uh, you will need to use uh, Obsbot's app for this. They, of course, support both iOS and Android, uh, and that's going to be a chief component of setup. We have a quarter, uh, excuse me, quarter, a quarter twenty mount on the bottom, uh, so you can easily mount this on any tripod, uh, lighting stand if you choose to do so. And then again, this is all about pan, uh, tilt, and zoom, which this is capable of, and still incredibly compact. We've got some LEDs here, uh, which I presume act as tally lights, uh, as well as letting you know whether or what your charge level is at. Um, but really, just a lot. Uh, to like about this little guy. And again, totally portable. Let's look at what else comes in the box uh, in terms of paperwork right here, your quick start guide and instruction manual in one, your warranty. And again, remember, this can be a webcam, not a question about it. It's very expensive for a webcam, but it can be so much more. Let's say you're a wedding videographer and you work alone or there are two of you, but you want to capture more angles in high quality, well, with a 23 mil lens like this, f1.8, with a large sensor, it's one over 1.8 inches, really, this is gonna give you high quality 4K video that you would never expect from uh, 
a product that's this size, forget all of the connectivity options for your workflow. So let me pull out all the other accessories here. Let's look at what uh, they've included. And I really like this travel case. I mean, I feel like this is something you can take on vacation with you. And some people might think that's nuts, but you know, hear me out. This thing is definitely uh, more capable than the majority of you know cameras out there. Uh, now, is this you know something I would compare to a mirrorless camera? No, but can it do uh, more than a lot of dedicated cameras? Yes, because remember. It is AI driven. And part of what I haven't mentioned about that is that if you need a camera person out in the field, this is going to do that for you. You can designate whether you want shots to be talking head, waist up, or you know, full uh, shot, you know, head to toe. Uh, you can also designate tracking. So I believe it supports humans, um, animals, and objects. So I We'll likely be testing this with Barkley and possibly Rue to see how well it does. Um, so the first thing here, a Type-C to Type-A USB dongle. Open up the next one. If I can find a good thread to, to break here, but I can't, so I'm just going to pop it open. Is another adapter. This is a coupler, it looks like. Two Type-Cs to a single Type-C. And then last but certainly not least, this appears to be our main... Uh, type C cable, which get out of here, probably is a C to C. So uh, this is your C to A adapter in the event you need one. And well, they gave you another C to C so that you have uh, redundancy. You see what I did there? I'm, I'm joking. No, not necessarily a funny joke, but a joke nonetheless. So let's look at the uh, power over Ethernet adapter, because as I've mentioned, part of what's really cool about this is that Yes, you can use the 1500 milliamp hour battery in here, charge it up, you're good to go. I said approximately a little over two hours, I believe it's like 80 minutes to charge and a little under 160 minutes of runtime. But let's say you don't wanna to have to worry about that. You get this and this is going to give you, uh, of course, connectivity to the internet as well as power. So I think that's a really cool double-edged sword to have uh, with a product like this. And really, you know, what you want to be focused on, as I nearly chop my hand off, is the capability that this has to offer. And what I'm mentioning here about the NDI um, capability, I mean, this is where that kicks in. So if you're streaming, uh, let's say you're a gamer or, you know, whatever your stream is for, maybe you have a podcast that you also capture video for, just so you have that uh, for viewers that are not audio only, these are the type of cameras they should remind you of, you know, reality TV, Big Brother, uh, The Circle on Netflix. And really, this is that technology. I'm not going to say with exactly the same video quality as what you're seeing in large form uh, uh, productions on TV, on streaming, but very similar. And it's not only shrunken down to a practical size, but then we're also getting something that's, well, practical in terms of pricing. So this is why when Obsbot reached out, I said, yeah, I'm interested in something very specific. Send it over. Now, I wish they had included the remote, just like I wish they had given me at least another one of these, if not three, which is what they sent to a lot of uh, content creators out there to review this. Uh, but... We're starting with one and we'll see where we go from there. So again, this can track human subjects, animals, and then objects, and you can designate that. It also has gesture control. So I believe um, to zoom in, you give it um, an L, we'll zoom in. Uh, you can start tracking by just putting up your hand like so. Uh, so some cool features, and these are things I'll be testing. Um, it also has AI director grids, and what that amounts to is basically different looks it'll suggest based on what is in front of the lens. And just to give you, you know, AI essentially auto framing suggestions. So to help you from a creative standpoint, which I think is interesting, I don't expect them to all be useful, but at least it's going to push you in a direction that otherwise maybe you wouldn't have thought about. Um, those gesture controls, you can also, I mentioned uh, the tracking the target is just putting your hand up. The zooming in and out is essentially the L. Uh, two L's will give you dynamic zoom in and out. And then to start recording, you just give it the OK sign. So smart, uh, in my opinion. But again, the real beauty of this camera is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. By the way, um, it does support 5.8 gigahertz. So 
Um, we should see really low latency on their included app. And the app controls everything that I've discussed. So I'm expecting a little bit of a learning curve because there's a lot to learn. But again, the beauty of this is that you can set this up anywhere. Um, that really is what makes it so versatile. What can't it do in its category? You know, this isn't an action camera, but because it has stabilization and the, the ability to pan, tilt, and zoom, and is, has a large sensor with a prime lens, you could start to see how you really could use this well for anything you want. So with the power over Ethernet, really simple. You're just going to connect this right here, right? Connect your, your Ethernet, and then Type-C port, uh, is available, a female, so that you connect another Type-C, and then everything, power and uh, the Ethernet, internet, are coming over a single cable. Um, so this is, in my opinion, if NDI is on your list, if you plan to hardwire this um, and network it with other cameras, this is a must-have. You have your dedicated power button right here, which I'm going to hit and just see if this guy powers on. You can see it did. Blue light that I presume will also act as a tally light, but I've yet to test it. And then again, your four LEDs for uh, charging and all that good stuff. Um, again, this is just a very cool product. We've got ventilation here on the bottom, two axes. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. And really, not everyone is going to need power over Ethernet. Clearly, it's a matter of whether you are that consumer, if you fit uh, into that realm. But this is just a very cool uh, piece of kit, no question about it. So who is the NDI for? Well, if like me, you have an audio interface like the Mackie DLZ XS uh, that supports NDI, you can quickly start to see why something like this could seamlessly integrate into your setup and in your studio give you uh, AI-driven cameras wherever you want and because they're so small and have quarter 20s, you could put them virtually anywhere. Uh, I mentioned videographers in the wedding business. I see a really practical application. Um, any sort of event photographer really, I think, can benefit from these guys. Because again, not incredibly expensive, but incredibly flexible and functional uh, based on the video quality that I have seen. Uh, and historically, to get something like this, they're always incredibly expensive if quality is at all important to you. I mean, inexpensive ones, the quality is generally junk. And when you look at something like this, don't start to think of like, you know, uh, the Osmo uh, Pocket 3 or something like that. That's a totally different solution. Yes, Pan, Tilt, Zoom is on board there, but this is just a much more dynamic product targeted at being something dynamically different. And I, you know, a lot of the cameras I have reviewed for over a decade now, they have slowly, camera manufacturers have ushered in the era of those products um, doubling as webcams, 4K30 webcams. Well, here I think of Obsbot traditionally making PTZ webcams or streaming cams now stepping into these cameras becoming legitimate regular video cameras because of the built-in battery, because of all the connectivity options, the AI and the portability, this could in many ways be more useful than your average $500 going into a regular uh, video camera for content creation. And I could easily see uh, someone who does, let's say, a cooking channel on YouTube setting up a few of these or three, you know, to have one overhead, one as your wide main shot, and then another profile for, you know, just keeping things real. And you can have an operator or have it all driven by AI because technically one camera could be targeting the food, the object, another could be targeting you. And then of course the third, maybe you turn off AI just for a wide shot. So it's just really cool, very practical in my opinion. And it's, you know, the Flexibility, or I should say the limitations, are really going to amount to your creativity. Um, so very cool. I have not seen really anything negative uh, you know, about this camera in terms of other reviewers or end users. So it's just bleeding edge being shrunken down and delivered at an affordable price to people like you and me. Um, so again, I wish I got three of these because I could easily see using one of these as the overhead my FX3 is capturing now, another as a first person point of view, and then a third as a wide shot. So Obspot, if you're listening and the video quality ends up being what I think it's going to be based on what I've seen, maybe you should send two more over on that remote, even though, you know, I'll 
the remote, I feel like, is a must-have because, remember, you can control all of this through their app, but I know many of you out there, like me, are going to prefer not having to use your phone even if the remote is $80. US It's going to give you all of the functionality without ever having to pull out your phone. But remember, the phone will give you framing. You will see what this is capturing, and since there's no other way to do that, that's still good to have. Um, but a really cool product. I mean, it's... We're seeing a transition where sensor technology, wireless technology, um, it's all coming together and really delivering something that historically you wouldn't expect. Uh, again, really large sensor, prime glass, pan tilt zoom, and then wireless and wired connectivity unlike anything before it, complemented by AI processing, essentially giving you a camera person, as I've said, where, well, you didn't have one before. And in many ways, this could actually be much more practical than the AI uh, that I'll often talk about to many of you in traditional cameras, just because those are trying to do everything, whereas this, I feel like, has more of a specific use case scenario, even though it's so broad in terms of what you can potentially do with it, because this is not a mirrorless camera, if you get my drift. Um, I think another big application, as I close out this video, um, any, tor any sort of amateur or borderline pro production, you know, churches, uh, theaters, uh, the list goes on. You know, so it's not just about content creators, and I didn't even mention streamers, but of course, Obsbot is trying to market this towards those of you that stream. Um, do I think you need something like this for streaming? Absolutely not. Do I think you would benefit from having it if it lives up to the quality and performance I expect? then I think it probably is the best product of its kind, even for streamers. But we'll find out. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. And please stay safe. Later.